Welcome back to Pennies and Plans, where we explore all things finance and early retirement related. Today we are talking about having a prepped food pantry. What's that got to do with finance and early retirement, I hear you ask? Well, keep watching and all shall be revealed. In this episode, I'll explain how we set up our prep food pantry and also what happens when you fall off that bandwagon and end up in a bit of a mess. We'll also share some helpful strategies on how to get started and then manage your prepping pantry effectively. So let's get started. Life is unpredictable and unexpected events can happen to anyone, anywhere and at any time. Prepping or helping to be prepared involves taking proactive measures to safeguard yourself and your loved ones and it offers a little peace of mind and security in uncertain times or when you might need to stretch your budget that little bit further because an unexpected bill has come in or if there has been a notable increase in food prices. Back in 2019, a retired couple living moderately in the UK would expect to spend about £74 a week or £3,848 per year on food shopping according to the Retirement Living Standards website. In 2022, this figure increased to £127 per week or £6,604 per year. That's a 58% increase over three years and who knows what the figure is going to be for 2023. So that's quite a bit of money going to normal food shopping that is not going towards your retirement pot. Or it's an additional expense that is hitting your retirement funds. If savings can be made in this area, then it seems a no-brainer to us to try and explore this more fully. Hello and welcome to our channel. We are Lizzie and Bob. We're in our 50s, we live in Glasgow, Scotland, and we're heading towards our goal of early retirement by making plans and being careful with our money. Retirement really does throw up so many questions, but hopefully we can break these areas down into manageable and sensible sections that will help us with our plans, choices and decisions. We hope you enjoy and come along with us on this journey. Having a food pantry is not something we ever had previously, but we also never really needed one either. In addition, we didn't really have the space for this as our kitchen does not have a lot of storage cupboards, so we were never able to keep too many of any one item. We had what we would call a reasonable food stock of the usual kitchen food staples, which we would stock up on on a regular basis when we did our usual food shop. Then along came the early days of the pandemic where pretty much everyone experienced some issues with even getting their usual food shopping. There was also the supply issues with Brexit, the Suez Canal shipping blockages, and the Russia and Ukraine war. On top of all that, the price of food has increased as it's costing more to produce and ship and we're all experiencing shrinkflation, where items are getting smaller or the packet weights are reducing, but their price remains the same or is even increasing. So back in mid-2022, we decided that it might be a good idea to try and build a stock of basic cupboard essentials, which would hopefully save us some money in the long run as even then we had been noticing the prices of food going up and up. But our first task was to establish where we were going to put this pantry. So I had the idea that if we cleared out a cupboard under the stairs, then we could possibly get away with putting in a few plastic shelving units in here. I measured the sizes and we bought a couple of cheap units, which we cable tied together into an L shape and we were able to fix in place under the stairs. I also bought a few clear large containers with lids so that we would be able to easily see the contents and be able to keep them clean of dust and any potential mice because this was a new thing for us too. Ideally you should label your containers but at this stage we didn't bother with this because we could easily see the contents. So as you can see from this slide from under our stairs our shelving units we began slowly and just started buying some extra tins and items here and there each time we did our shopping. We also did a proper clear out and stock check of our normal kitchen cupboards where we had quite a few of the same items and we would put some in the new pantry area 
and just leave one or two in our normal kitchen cupboards. This had the added benefit of actually creating some additional space and it also helped us to tidy up our normal food cupboards as well. We stocked up on the long life essential items that have a reasonably long shelf life. So things like canned goods, jars of sauces, dried goods like rice and pasta, packet rices and dried pastas. In addition, we also had cartons of long life semi-skimmed milk as that is what we have always used for years anyway. Now, it is important to have a system to rotate the items so that the oldest items get used up first and the newer replacement items go to the back of the stockpile. Of course, this is not really an issue when you first start up your pantry, but it can become an issue as you maintain it going forward. So fast forward, and as you can see, as time goes on, it's quite easy to fall off the prepping pantry bandwagon. Life gets busy and we find ourselves neglecting the maintenance of the supplies. So without regular checks and updates, our once well-organised pantry can quickly turn into chaos. Expired products, disarrayed shelves and wasted resources become common. And yes, I will admit that this is an area where we have fallen down in the past because we are usually rushing or too busy to take the time to sort and store the items properly. So the new stuff just gets put to the front and if you don't have a system in place, then you end up wasting food as it goes past its use-by dates and I really despise wasting food. So to avoid this situation, it's crucial to establish a routine for managing your prepping pantry. Ideally, you want to set aside regular intervals, such as maybe once a month or every three months, to assess and reorganise your supplies. During this time, you can check for expired items, rotate stock, declutter the shelves, give them a clean and do any stock take of any new items that you need to get. And if you completely fail to do this for a while, don't beat yourself up about it. Just accept that you're only human and it happens and just get on with it. As you can see, this is what we had the other day and it was a disaster zone. We had kitchen kitchen rolls, we had toilet rolls, we had crisps down here, we had just a, a mishmash, kidney beans, kidney beans, kidney beans over here. Everything was all over the place. Um, so it all came out. Everything came out. Shelves got a clean and a wipe down and we started to reorganise them. And yes, I'm disappointed it got to that stage, but hey, it was a lesson learned and it gave me the kick up the backside that I needed to get it sorted out. So emptying the shelves, sorting out the items and an inventory list is what was on the cards. This was most of my pantry items and you can see here, it's not a huge amount of items that I have. Um, there was a box of crisps and a, various bags and they all got put together. All the cans came out and then I basically did a bit of a sorting through and putting them into groupings, checking the dates and such. And to make up for my shoddy attention span, I wrote up an inventory which is now attached to the cupboard and which we will attempt to try and keep up to date as we add and remove items. So ask us in three months time how this new strategy is working. And there you can see my lovely little inventory sheet stuck on the door under the stair cupboard so that that will hopefully help us keep ourselves organised. Minimising waste is key to an efficient prepping pantry. Try to implement strategies such as meal planning to ensure you use items before they expire. Consider incorporating pantry staples into your everyday cooking to keep the rotation going. Additionally, you can explore creative storage solutions like vacuum sealing or using mason jars to extend the shelf life of certain items. YouTube has lots of fantastic and talented people who are doing amazing with their prepping pantries. Check out some of the prepping videos from Root of Avalon and Prime of Midlife. They have done all sorts of clever stuff like dehydrating frozen vegetables, making ghee and jams for their prep cupboards. And when you do have items that are about to expire or have just expired, then try and use them up quickly rather than let them go to waste. These are my current items that need to be used up quickly. So as you can see, I've got a couple of coconut milks. I've got two jars of the honey barbecue sauce because our kids like them. Uh, 
we've got a pile of spaghetti, so we will be getting some spaghetti bowl glaze soon. And when you do have items that are about to expire or have just expired, then use them up quickly rather than letting them go to waste. These are my current items that came from my pantry cupboard that need to be used up fairly soon. So I had some chili rice cakes with homemade apple and ginger chutney recently as a snack. We made some Chinese style chicken and mushroom with the shrimp egg noodles, which also needed to be used up. This evening, we had some tasty and quick Thai satay chicken and vegetable curry, and that used one of the cans of coconut milk. I'm planning to make some tasty, sort of healthy breakfast muffins, which will use up the Bramley applesauce if I add them to some porridge, oats, some flour, sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon. And I've made them before, and they're really very tasty little muffins. We also had some Baby Ray barbecue chicken drumsticks with chips the other night for our dinner. I'm also planning to make a some sort of fruity sponge cake or pudding, uh, some sort of dessert type thing, which will hopefully use some of these items up. There's clearly going to be a spaghetti and tomatoey sauce type dish at some point, which will use these items up. And no prizes for guessing what I'm planning to do with the condensed milk. I specifically bought some bananas so that I can make a very tasty, yummy banoffee pie dessert. Some items are even a little bit too far out for me to use. So thankfully there's not too many of these items that were quite a bit past their, their, their expiry dates. But even so, I'll do something with them and our little resident fox will be more than happy to take them off our hands, I think. Maintaining a prepping pantry is an ongoing commitment. Try to keep it organised by grouping similar items together. Label your containers and conduct regular inventory checks. Try and keep an eye on your expiration dates and make a habit of replenishing supplies as they're used. Putting the newest items to the back and bringing the older items to the front for use first. Starting and maintaining a prepping pantry requires a bit of dedication and regular upkeep. Establishing a well-organised system, stocking up on long-life essentials and staying on top of expiration dates are important steps. By implementing strategies to minimise waste and periodically reassessing your supplies, you can avoid falling off the prepping pantry bandwagon and you will ensure that you're always prepared and hopefully this will ultimately save you some time and money too. Thanks for watching and listening. We hope you found this information valuable and if you are on a similar journey to us, then please consider liking, subscribing and dinging that bell for future updates. In the meantime, it's onwards and upwards towards retirement for us.